What's up everyone? It's six o'clock on a Thursday. I just checked my wrist. I don't have a watch on. But I know it's six o'clock uh, because I am just leaving work, which is normal. It's a normal time. I'm absolutely starving right now. Need some food. And I haven't filmed anything all day, which is normal because I haven't really been doing anything. I think later on I'm going to go and uh, get out adventure somewhere, maybe, and purposefully not be out late, because once again I didn't sleep that great, it's just, so I'm really tired again, that's, that's a really on, uh, okay, let's go. Okay, today, a bit of a change of plans. Tonight, I'm going to actively choose, decide, whatever, to not go out. I can't do it. I cannot be up late tonight. I need to get a good sleep. So I'm going to stay in, and I've got a few projects I'm going to work on because I've wanted to do them for a while, but I've been doing way too I'm I'm addicted to going out doing photography, filming out, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing to be addicted to, but it's getting out of hand with me staying out too late, and it's a common topic I'm talking about. So, one of the things I mentioned before is that I wanted to build a remote shutter for this camera and for any camera. It's kind of a project I've had an idea for for a long time and what it's gonna do is it's gonna be like selectable it's gonna be an remote for any camera but it's gonna be an open source remote I'm gonna design the circuit board I'm gonna do all that and then anyone can download it and build it themselves I'm also gonna add like some cool extra little features I haven't started it yet but it's a really simple circuit I can throw it together pretty quickly and I think I'm going to do that. But I am not going outside. Maybe for a bike ride. But no staying out for a long time and finding cool places to take pictures. Not tonight. It's not happening. halfway through the design of this new board when I remembered that I have this which is something I've been working on uh, with a friend who has a really cool idea and patent on this actually hmm and why am I bringing this up? Well I can control the camera with this because it has an IR emitter on it so I can show you how that works with the camera, but also, why don't I show you how this works, because it's really cool. Okay, let me explain the patent real quick. The patent is called Diffraction Range Finding. And if I can explain that really simply, you can see this light on the ring. Basically, you use diffraction to break up the light into its counterparts, its RGB, and when that happens, it separates and into like a pattern. And this pattern can be used to measure a distance. So let me show you real quick what I mean by that with a demonstration. So on this glass, as you can see, there is a holographic film. And when you take the light, you see you get these two 
dimensions, x and y, but now you see that rainbow pattern. As you pull the light away, it stretches out. And the point of this is that it gives you that third dimension, so you actually have three dimensions of where the ring is in space. You can see why this is such a cool idea. From a computer input standpoint, basically you can control your computer in a three-dimensional space using a single perspective. That means a single camera somewhere on your desktop using 3D input from one light. How cool is that? So my contribution to this project was designing this which is called the 3D ring which lights up and you can control the computer and things like that which is really awesome. I'm like super excited to be on this but if you want to learn more about this kind of technology I'm going to put a link in the description to my friend Tom Ditto's website 3 it and dot com and you can check that stuff out so let's continue on with the remote shutter because I just gave myself another idea of course let's go do it okay I wasn't able to get the ring to work because of some timing issues but I made this little prototype thing and then I'm gonna go do some light painting with the ring Check this out. I'm gonna do some light painting. Okay, that was pretty fun. Just doing some light painting, something I love doing. I actually have a really cool light painting rig that I haven't shown you yet. But uh, I think I did, I did do a Snapchat story about it a long time ago when I got 500 Instagram followers. You can check it out if you want to, but I'm definitely going to do a vlog or a video or something on that rig. It's not fully built. It's got to be fully like motorized and everything, but you can do it by hand right now. Anyways, just playing around in my backyard. People probably think I'm crazy. I got this crazy light going. Got some work done on that remote shutter. I can see my breath. And yeah, should have that available at some point. Good thing I tested out the other circuit though because it's not working the way I wanted it to because of the clock speed, all this stuff. So yeah, good. Anyways, that's it for tonight, everyone. Be good, good night. I can't snap with my left hand.